So we were right all along. Right. You don't need a crystal ball. You didn't need a crystal ball to figure out that that Trump didn't collude with the Russians, that the DNC, in fact, cheated Bernie Sanders and blamed the Russians. You didn't need you didn't need a crystal ball to figure out that Trump was spied on by Obama and Lynch, who directed Comey and McCabe, and now strokes at the FBI to spy directly on Trump and derail his campaign. Not only derail it, but continue to try to frame the President of the United States as a Russian agent. Right. That's where we're at right now in American politics. That's how, rather than talk about tremendous, you know, income and wealth inequality in the country, lack of health care, one out of six people on food stamps. Seventy percent of the country doesn't have four hundred dollars to their name. Right, rather than talk about those issues, they want us to talk about what happened to Stormy Daniels. I, I don't watch mainstream media anymore, so I don't. I don't know, but I know that today, um, you know, True Pundit is confirming that that Stokes. The FBI agent Stokes Page, that connection right there, they in fact had an email conversation where they explicitly said that the White House was running the spy operation against Trump. So they, you, have, you have conclusive evidence inside the Department of Justice was in fact spying on the, on the opposition party to derail his campaign. And the overwhelming evidence that Sanders was cheated is, isn't, isn't disputable at this point. The closing of the polls, the rigging, the purging off, and on and on and on. We already know this. So, like I've said before, if this was a court of law, right? If this was a court of law, discovery is now over, right? This, we've discovered all of the facts. And now it's time to issue a sentence, right? That's what it's. That's what time it is right now. It's time to issue a sentence. I'll swing around, I'll show you right now. New York Harbor. Right? But that's not going to happen, right? Why isn't it going to happen? Because the Department of Justice is is can't can't indict itself. They're not going to indict FBI agents, right? They're all dirty. There's no more constitution. There's no. There's no more separation of power. It's oligarchy. Oligarchy corporations, corrupt Wall Street organizations, who don't pay tax, who manipulate the politicians, pay them off to create laws that benefit them and not the, you know, the the 99% of the population. It's high treason, is what it is. Say that again. It's high treason. What we're seeing in this country where politicians, elected officials are elected to represent the people and they then turn around and cater to special interests, many of which have their origins and their financial roots in hostile uh, foreign entities. Right? Multinational corporation by definition has foreign interests. so. If you're looking for foreign in, foreign um, interference in our elections, you don't have to look much further than the oligarchy that fuels the whole thing, that pays off the politicians, who then the money moves sideways into the FBI and the CIA, moves even further left to the to the judges, and the the whole thing is money going up and down, money coming down from up to down, and then sideways. And everywhere in between, where all the decisions, the governmental decisions, are, in fact, uh, weighted in favor of the oligarchy and against the people. Why is it that seventy percent of the population, the American population, overwhelmingly agrees that universal health care, uh, free single payer universal health care in America, is is 
should be a given, should should already have happened. But they can't get it through Congress. Why is why is that? You take California, for example, where upwards of eighty percent of the population wants it, and they still can't get it. They still can't even because of they they get they get blocked by the corrupt politician Nancy Pelosi. In New York, it's Gillibrand and Schumer. In California, they've got you know, so that's where we're at right now. It's a deeply deeply corrupt, broken system. We were right all along. How is it that we're right? The people are right, right? People see it. No investigation. It's just people communicating with one another, right? And we were right the whole time. And all the power of the CIA and the FBI and the White House and all the, the NSA and all these, these powerful organizations with all the resources at their fingertips couldn't figure out what we saw in plain view. It's not that they can't figure it out. They're covering it up. They're lying, right? So, my name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, reporter, candidate for the United States Senate here in New York. Peace.